Hey guys, what's up? Um, today we're gonna do another tutorial on the green screen that moves. But we, we're gonna I talk about it before on my previous video, how we can do the basic one, and then there's also another one where you have an object go over the the green screen. So this will be a little bit more advanced. You now, if you're able to tackle this down, then that'd be great because that's all you're gonna be needing to create a really good video. So let me show you what I mean really quick. Okay, I got this video. I pretty much covered the basic of green screen on the last two videos. So... In case you missed it, you can uh, go back to the two videos and watch it before you watch this video. Uh, the most basic one is pretty much just a sit still. It doesn't move and nothing is, is passing through the point. Well, um, instead of motion tracking the green screen area, people can track around the side. But on this video, it seemed like this, there's not much you can use to track. I remember watching this video like maybe two, three years ago. I tried to find this video again. I couldn't. You know, they did a tutorial on this. That's where I learned it. You know, so hopefully I can uh, duplicate what that guy did with this. This is pretty much a, uh, a package video. As you can see here, it passed through. Typically, we will probably put a tracking mark right here on each corner. But because when you put a mark in here, this happened to pass through. So it will be a little bit, you know, more challenging to do. So with this video, let me... Okay, and then and let's just say here. And make it more simple, you know. You don't have to do such a complicated... Like a previous video, we want to make sure we know... We're going to do a basic one. We're not going to put a video. We could put a video here, but I'm going to put this... going to put a picture here to, to generate an idea. Okay, to get this video, you can get this video at... Right here. Hollywoodcamerawork.com or so. And this is the one. Okay. Get it here. You can use it to, to practice. Okay, now we're going to track this video like we were doing on the previous one. Alright, so let's set this to previous. And uh, 35, and uh, like 85. Uh, that's just my preference. You, you can, you know. So I have this ready. Alright, now this time I talk about it before in the previous video. We'll be using this both here and this here. Alright, so keep in mind about mouse. You know, I'll be scrolling over here left and right. Okay, so let's start by adding a mark. Okay, control, left click. Let's see what's going on. Control. Uh, I click right there. Okay. And let's just test it out and see how it goes. It look okay. Okay. Now let's go back. And this is the part where it's gonna have problems. So. Okay, let's check it. You see? This one jumped, this one went off, this one went off. So let's go back. Okay. Set it on. Alright, this one. Jump. 
anything else seem okay except for this one here. So let's go frame by frame. Anything track except for this one right here. Start going off. So from here, just press clear after. Okay. From here, you're gonna have to manually set it. Press clear action and then click on this. You press double G. Okay, press double G. You press G and then you press G again. So you can offset it. If you press G once, it will remove the original spot. But when you press G two times, G, as in girl, G, and you're able to offset this. So let's just put it like. Right here. Okay, and then you move. Back here. Now, press GG again. Now you move this back. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. And then, okay. it is starting to track. Okay, keep going. Ah, this one is off. Okay. Keep going. Until it comes. something like maybe this part right here okay okay so far okay just start getting off again okay 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 gg try this part right here let's go okay look at all right this is just really off the grid Okay, so let's, let's check everything else. Okay. Okay, now we have our tracking. Alright, all you have to do is use a combination of a uh, Offset by pressing GG and pinpoint the thing so until you get all the tracking. Okay, look great. Now, like what we did last time, we add a uh, a plane track. So you create uh, first, select R. You must have at least four point, otherwise they don't let you. You know. So make sure you select R by pressing A. You can see that I select R. You just create it. Then you have our masking here. So just move it to the screen at frame 1 and what we did before okay now we have a mask let's name it uh, let's call it screen okay okay so you notice the hand is gonna pass through here so on the next step we're gonna do is to make sure we, we create a, another type of mask we're just gonna just like how we did on Blender VSE, how we did a moving object over a green screen, and then we put a video behind the green screen. We need to create a black and white, you know, mask. So we need the screen to be black because that's what we start, what we don't want to see, and we want the hand to be white, you know. That way, this can be transparent over the green screen. Make sense so far? So far, you follow? Okay. So far, we got the tracking. Alright, now let's do the the green screen. Okay, let's head over to the compositing. Okay, go here on my cycling render. Like what I did before. Compositing. Let's just add a timeline here. Mm -hmm. Okay, get rid of this. Put this over here. 
All right, let's add a movie clip. Okay, our movie clip was attack green screen. Okay, that's what we have here. And then now let's add our image, image right here. And then let's open a random one. Okay, all over again. All right, so you have your movie clip, you have your image clip by loading both of them up. You have this, let's add a uh, distort, plain track deform. Okay, connect that. And then let's add a shift A, alpha over. Okay, let's connect that again. Okay, time to add a output reviewer. This is to see. So disconnect that. Okay, now working. At first it didn't work. Okay, now work. Uh, let's um, add the mask, the camera, and the screen. Okay, now we have the the picture in the screen. Okay, so far so good. Okay, but you notice as you scroll right here, the hand is is under the. You want this to be overlap. Okay, so what we did earlier before on Blender VSC. Anything that you don't want to see will be black. Anything you want to see will be white. So you want to see the hand going through the screen. So you want the green screen to be black. Does that make sense? So you want your hand to be white and you want it to be black. So let's start by doing... Okay, this is how you do it. Um, you want to create a separate function and then close it out. So to do that, let's make it simple. To separate, to isolate everything, to create like a, a second layer of mass or so, to isolate everything, okay? You just need to create a second layer and then close it up. So, let's start by adding... Uh, let's see. I believe this is joint. No. Filter? No. Okay. A converter set alpha. Okay? So, you're gonna start by creating a... You pretty much isolate. Start by creating another uh, layer, okay, and then uh, before you go here, set alpha, and then you add a separate RGB, okay, because you want to pretty much um, control the, the area that you want. For example, if I to take this plane here, okay, this plane will, will create the mass on the area that I want to isolate. Let me pick it back. Okay. And now, I'm gonna add a... Chip A. The converter, add a map. Okay. You want the red to be here. And you want the green to be here. And you want that to be... The track. Okay. So this is how it looks like so far. When you let's just say, alright, for you to, to look back what we just did earlier. This is what we have so far. Okay, really nothing yet. So you add a. Okay, it will change the color. Then you add a. You're just pretty much taking out the green and the red. Uh, it's just like the color balance where you configure it, you know, the, the value to darken. Now you have this area darken here. So let's make it a little bit more better. You want this more white and this more dark right here. It, essentially, this will become white and this will become black. So before I get to that, okay, let's start by adding a uh, color map. So anything that you use, for example, this one, set alpha, the starting point set alpha. I got it from converter. You see set alpha? So anything that you use in this category, you'll be using majority of the stuff in this category to connect what you need to do here. So right here, I will add a color map. See in the same category? Color map. All right, this time, I'm gonna try to darken most and then increase the white here. Okay. Ah. I think this should be okay. But you get the idea. You dark in this and you... Uh, you write in this. Now, this is... Okay, let me move back a little bit.
，係啦。So what you want now to do is, uh, you want this area here to get mass out by using the plane here. This is pretty much create the mass right here. But you want everything to dark out, so let's multiply that. So you add a mass, okay? Go multiply, and then you bring the mass. Put it here. See now you pretty much isolate everything. But you see, remember what we said before? Anything black, we can't see anything white. We can see, but this is not what I want. I want the green to be black and I want everything else to be white. So, to do that, let's add color invert. Okay. See, now it's switch. Right here, you can, you can work a little better. There you go. Work around and you know to try to get it as as best you can. Now, this is pretty much done. This is the whole idea of black and white. So you start off by set alpha. Okay, you open with self alpha. Okay, you start something. Alright, this is what you start. Now you have to close it. So you add another set alpha right here. But this time this is not the image. Okay, you isolate everything. This is not the image. The image will be from your original. This part right here. So this is alpha. Okay, this is the original. You're pretty much jumping ahead. You know, this is a opening. And now you're jumping ahead. Okay, you bring this image. And now you have this uh, isolated area right here. You, you will get rid of the green later. Okay, if you do a better job on the masking, you won't see much of these green area. But, um, okay. Now, we have this alpha over. You want this to be right. Hold on. Let's let's move this up. This is the the bottom image. Okay, alpha over. You're missing two things together, and this will be the this wrong one. This. Right, you're not working. But anyway, that's how it's supposed to be. Okay, now then let's let's work on the the green area. So this is the direct color of everything here. Okay, now uh, this need to be fresh. It now you notice you notice when you not scroll through this hand is actually just you know it's over over the green screen. Alright, now let's, let's look on the, the green and everything. So, let's add a color. Put up here, the top one. Put that one. Okay, let's bring down the... Alright, look a little better. Okay, now you know this. The green gets a little better. But, if you have a better quality video and you just have to trick this a little bit to to clear out as much you can. And you can uh, color balance it. Alright, so far. Okay, let's, let's recap what we just did. You notice how you, s you change whatever you need to change, flip it over, create a mask here, and then you close it out. And then you mix these two things together. Okay? And then you can work a little on cleaning up the other thing. And now you can even add uh, the color balance, both images. So, let's add this here. And this 
duplicate it and put one here. Change, you try to match everything by. Okay. You get the idea so far. And then uh, you can also add. Sharpen or soften. No, you can sharpen the video. Um, five, or maybe uh, two. You can just add a little sharp sharpness to it. You can also do a little, you know, like this duplicate thing. You can also add like soften. Whatever you want to make it look best. But the basic of um, the whole point of this video is pretty much how to make the object overlaying the green screen. So here you have it. Set alpha. Separate RGBA. You subtract. Okay. And then you color back. You try to like get as dark as white as you can. And then you combine these two together. Clear out everything and isolate just the area that you wanted it. Okay. And then you squish it around. You know. This part would be white, this part would be black. You squish it around. And then you close it out. And then you bring in the, the color in because otherwise it's just gonna get black and white. Right? So you bring in the color in. So you pretty much close it up. Okay? And then you put an alpha over to mix them together. And then the final result. So all you have to do, you know, do what you normally do. Set your frame rate. Make sure. This, this is supposed to be 30. Okay? Set your frame rate. Is it 30? I don't remember. Let me check. Actually, 29 frames per second. Okay, let's go back. Uh, 29, okay. Okay, set this. I'm gonna call this sample laptop. Okay. Again, I'm using the old version. You guys probably have the new version by now. And encoding, okay, everything. The, the start frame and the end frame. Alright, yeah, 32, okay. Okay, let me just render it out and see how it looks. 